Welcome back Acura Bike Project fans. This is part two of the custom split radiator cooling system build. In the previous video, I fabricated this custom expansion fill tank and plumbing to the CX500's thermostat. Now let's go ahead and make the rest of the system. Next I would need to mount the radiators to the frame. The radiators are each mounted to the frame with a pair of parallel steel bars. I had these cut by Send Cut Send. I drilled a quarter inch hole in the upper angled frame piece and then mounted that back onto the frame. I put the radiator mounting bar onto the frame then and aligned it to the correct angle. And then center punched it and drilled the hole out. I could then bolt it through the bottom hole as well. These radiator mount holes were about 5 8 inch in diameter but I just needed about a quarter inch for the mounts. So I made these aluminum spacers as adapters which also hold the radiator off of the steel mounting bar about one eighth inch away. I would need eight of these per radiator. So I made two myself to get this done, but then I ordered the rest from Zometry. The radiators will actually each have a pair of aluminum rectangular rings around them, one in the front and one in the back. And these will be what hold the ductwork to the radiator and the radiators to the frame. These rings though will sit flush against those parallel bars which hold the radiator to the frame, so there's no room for bolt heads. So I cut off the head of a quarter twenty bolt and welded the bolts into the bars, one on each end. Okay, next up is these aluminum rings. These are manufactured in halves and they're bent. I just need to weld the two halves together and each radiator gets two rings. So let's go ahead and weld these together. And let's do a quick fit test to see how they look. Looking pretty good. Okay, we're looking at the radiator here, half of it. And you can see the way these tabs are on this stock radi this radiator, that half of the tabs are on one side only one direction, the other half are on the other side only one direction. So what I want to do is add tabs on both sides that match that. And then those will help hold those rings in place. So I measured this thing out and I did this bracket here out of steel that will hold the tabs in place uh, while I'm welding it, but give me access to weld it from the other side. So let's go ahead and put these half inch bolts in here. And then we put our radiator on there. And on the other side, we add the tabs. And it's just about perfect. Yep, there we go, pretty good. And then we'll bolt it down. And the purpose of this only is to prevent the tab from warping. So now you can see on the other side, I have access to get in here and weld it. So let's do that now. The radiators themselves would need some additional modifications, removing the vents and the filler cap and welding those openings closed again. With that done, I could string the whole thing up and do a flow leak test on it. There's a generic automotive coolant pump at the bottom there. I filled the whole thing with water and powered it up and everything looked good. And with that looking good, I could set all the components up on the frame and do a flow leak test in place. Leak for full. I'm gonna take some of that out. <clears throat> I can squeeze anywhere on these tubes and I can see the water level go up and down. 
So that's a pretty good sign. Okay, let's power it up. Okay, first I have just 12 volts and just a half an amp. Not very strong, but let's see what happens. Sounds good. I'm feeling flow in every section. Definitely less movement over here. Than the most here. Overall, I think that's pretty good. I don't see any leaks. None of my welds are leaking. Pretty nice. No leaks, and it sounds great. This is, of course, bypassing the engine right now and only testing the flow through the coolant components that I made. And you can see the water jostling around in the fill tank. Another tank, the overflow tank, was designed and built the same way from those interlocking laser cut aluminum panels with tabs and slots. This one though has additional ports to support a sight glass, a vent and suction port, and a large cap. I had a neighborhood metal worker weld this one up as my patron support helps outsource more of these tasks. Though I did weld the mounting bracket onto it, it gets mounted in front of the right radiator under where the seat will go, and it passed leak testing and I think came out pretty good. Okay, next up, each of these radiators will have a fan inside of it to draw in air when the uh, vehicle is at a low speed. This is going to require adding some mounting tabs, so let's do that. First, let's get it off the frame. The fan interferes with the existing mounting tabs, but if I cut these short, it fits perfectly right in the middle. I marked the approximate size of the new tabs, and then cut them down to size on the vertical bandsaw, and then cleaned them up on the belt sander. Uh, before we put a lot of effort into this, let's also make sure that this fan works. Okay, pretty good. We've got 12 volts, 500 milliamps. I put some 1 8 inch spacers the fans could sit on and fit tested the fan up for mounting. I then made the mounting brackets out of 1 8 inch by 1 inch aluminum flat bar, drilled and rounded the ends, and then bent at 90 degrees. I had to bend them at this odd angle though so they would fit around the radiator's existing mounting tabs but still meet the fan's mounting holes. I then inserted some riv nuts into the brackets where the fan will mount. This is because the 1 8 inch thick aluminum isn't thick enough to hold a decent number of threads that wouldn't easily get stripped off. And those came out pretty good. I fit tested those on the radiator with the fan. And with that looking good, I went ahead and welded them in place. And there you have it, working dual radiators. Hmm. 
Well, that is it. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this build. I think this split radiator system came out great and looks awesome. Let me know what you thought of it. I'd like to give a special thanks again to my patrons that helped make this build possible. If you like the build, please become a patron today for as little as a dollar a month or sign up for the free tier and get notified of updates. Every little bit helps accelerate this project and I definitely appreciate it.